Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly day by day. Tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning on Monday, the 11th of November. So Monday, 11th, with the sun. Beautiful sun's energy, we love it. It's a joy, it's happiness, it's beautiful prospect for your life. Something which will still grow and develop, something which will be important for I don't know, maybe rest of your life. Could be something about that, a long-term project or so, which or a beginning just now. Could be about your children. They are still developing, growing to become to become valuable people one day. You see what I'm saying? The sun energy. Could be, look, everyday thing. Sunny day, joyful day, happy day, for whatever reason. Maybe your vacation. If you are planning or you are going or you were, um, perhaps it will be about new projects, new job, new way of making money, new career. But this is concrete job, concrete projects. Um, this is your chores, this is your knowledge, this is your know-how, okay? Capricorn, this is energy which suits you well. It's your energy when you know exactly which way you are going, what exactly you are doing. You've got knowledge, you've got practical skill and you are implementing and step by step you are getting to that goal of yours, okay? It's all achievable to you. Now, perhaps we are having something on this day. Being that we have some energy out there, this is something new which you do have on your mind. All right, this is new project, new way of making money. Something very prosperous, something which excites you, no end, okay? This new way of making money, using your current skill, okay? Just in a different way. Oh, you will be prosperous, you will be happy, you can make bigger profits, you're going to do much better project, bigger projects. You see what I'm saying? This is change in the way you do your business or you make your money using the very same skill. But this new, oh, you love this new. This is supposed to bring you some improvement, Okay, within this skill work, okay, within your profession or so, it will bring improvement and very lovely improvement, meaning your business is going to be much more profitable, um, it's going to be much easier to do this job, it's going to be pleasure to do this job, being that now you will have some machineries or something, you see what I'm saying? There is a new way and you are loving it. That's your Monday. It's related to your business career, um, some projects, practical deeds or so. Yeah, Monday. Tuesday. With Ten of Cups. Again, we have happy energy. Sun, Ten of Cups. Something begins. Definitely something new begins. Ten of Cups is this rainbow gate just opened up for you to allow flood of happiness to come to you. You see what I'm saying? Fairy tale. <laughs> Happily ever after. This new way of doing business, making money, new employment, maybe I didn't tell you, Knight of Pentacles might bring new job offer or so. But anyway, it's related to business, money, profession and new expectations. You've got the massive expectations out of this new way of doing business, making your money, new employment. You've got huge expectations, beautiful energy. It's just happiness. Ten of Cups is happy energy, supposed to make you happy, supposed to bring better, happier times. In that sense, let me pair it. With um, Five of Roads. Now, Five of Roads, something else, okay? Yeah, but look, it's conflicting energy and it's not unusual to have this, this sort of chaotic uh, conflicting energy This because this is within you, right? Um, and as I said, it's not unusual um, when you are facing something which you were doing for the first time, okay? This is something very new. Yeah, it seems 
fantastic, so promising, it's supposed to make some, some exceptional improvement in your life, in your workplace, in your earnings, profit making, you see what I'm saying, improvement definitely this is supposed to bring, okay, but it's a very new, it's a very beginning, so it's understandable if you feel a bit confused, okay, if you feel a bit inexperienced, now, how do I exactly use these machineries, how do I exactly behave, this is new society, this is new business, this is new workplace, it's a higher level, it's a bigger salary, but how do I behave, what do I do, when is the lunch break? <laughs> Okay, it's a trivial example, but could also be, okay, this is daily energy and confusion relates to something which is beginning, which is just about to start and you might feel a bit inexperienced. Maybe you feel that you might be lacking knowledge and you are trying to complete yourself, to harmonize yourself, to balance, to be certain, to make yourself certain, to find the best idea, okay, maybe is about new idea, new concrete idea. What is the first step? What do you do first? Maybe struggling with that. Again, being that you're doing something for the first time, just showing slight inexperience and a little bit of chaos, okay? Very uncomfortable energy rattles you within. How do I know? Will I embarrass myself? Will I manage to? What people gonna think? You see what I'm saying? Could, could be many questions, many ideas on your mind, you know, that you are fighting right now. Could be just a concrete thing that you need to know and you feel like you are lacking now knowledge because of this new machinery, let me see how it operates, things like that, you see, it's nothing serious, five of wands, I never, never saw really serious, unless with some unfortunate pairing, but just like this, with the ten of cups, I mean, I don't see anything serious here, you will feel a bit uncertain because you're inexperienced, but you will. This energy serves to harmonize. These children are practicing fight. So today you might be forcing yourself to learn what you feel like, oh, I'm not certain with this knowledge. So you will be learning, you will be Googling, you'll, be, you'll ask people and something else. You also feel uncertain. You will again. This energy serves for you to stabilize it, to harmonize it, to put it together, to find the right way, to find that first step which is supposed to go next. You see what I'm saying? You will know, this energy will know. There is, there is no option for this one but to know, but to put it together. That is all this fight for to find your routine, to find your stability, your confidence, once you know, okay, um, you saw nothing wrong on this day, this is conflicting energy, but it is within you, and I think it's, um, it, it's actually very useful on this day, you will prepare yourself for everything, okay, Wherever that you see inexperienced, uncertain, you will make yourself certain, <laughs> so yeah, that's your uh, Tuesday. Still, nothing dilutes this happy energy, this beautiful future which you are going towards. You see what I'm saying? Now, Wednesday, with King of Cups. King of Cups is Pisces, maybe Scorpio. What's the third water sign? Yeah, Cancer, yeah. My brain froze. Anyway, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, paired with a Two of Cups. Look, this could very well be some sort of partnership. Partnership with another, with this water sign. The very lovely energy. Maybe offer of love from this... This is... Um, a bit older person. King is always slightly older, very mature. This energy shows maturity, emotional maturity, stability, intelligence as well. But yeah, you might be having somebody like that out there that you are interacting with. 
you were interacting with this person because you like this person, because this person likes you, want to take you on a date, want to have a relationship with you, want to have business partnership with you, or you need some advice from this person being that this person is perhaps experienced dealing with unforeseen I don't know, circumstances, maybe knows exactly what you are going through because has been through that very same situation already. You see what I'm saying? Now you do have experience, calm, collected person, which will tell you how to, how to harmonize yourself because the Two of Cups is you, balanced and harmonized, completely opposite. Just that what I told you here on Tuesday, you are battling to become balanced, harmonized, to trust yourself, to be confident self, to rely on yourself, and there you are. You see what I'm saying? I think you will encounter help from this water sign, okay? And this person will calmly tell you, oh, don't panic. Don't panic. It's easy. We'll tell you how to deal with this, which confused you person will tell you how to deal with that and you will bring back confidence. Um, this isn't just confidence, this is relying on yourself, loving yourself, respecting yourself, feeling balance within yourself. Now it's all right, now you're not confused, now you are not chaotic, oh you are balanced. So could be just something like that, okay, that you needed somebody to advise you because of these insecurities, because of these uncertainties which you felt within yourself and somebody is bringing you back to normal. This is just normal, you balanced, you um, satisfied in a way, comfortable with yourself. But as I said, could be some relationship that begins here, a relationship of some sort, maybe friendship, but then it would be beginning of this beautiful friendship, beautiful relationship, love relationship possible as well, um, a business partnership or so. You see what I'm saying? Very, very possible some sort of partnership on this day. Your Wednesday. No, Thursday. with Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is doing something, okay, practically, and something is already established, something already done. You are enjoying and you are doing it, and perhaps there are people seeing you how to do that, and they are admiring it. Oh, beautiful Capricorn, you've done it well. Can you continue? Can you make it more? You see what I'm saying? Um, the Three of Pentacles can talk about um, maybe some reconstruction around your home, um, maybe some decoration, maybe some hobbies, new group of people, um, a new project which you are doing, a new business which you are doing, and goes well with all this energy because we do have something new, something exciting, something very happy, which is beginning now. You're so looking forward to it, okay? And there you were, perhaps you established something, being that somebody helped you to regain your confidence, okay, trust in yourself, regain your confidence, there you were doing it yourself, again, being excited, now I know how to, and you can begin and you will continue. This energy does have sort of endless continuation. As long as you want to do this thing, you can do it. It's like your hobby, you know, as long as you want to do it and as long as you are enjoying it, do it, continue it. Might uh, be uh, um, earning, okay, new type of doing business, new way of doing business, okay, you are starting now, very enjoyable, okay, much better than that, what you used to have earlier, this is enjoyable, this you love, this supposed to bring you lots of money with time, you see what I'm saying, um, could also be something like that, that you are establishing new way of doing business, making money or so. And it's paired with Eight of Cups. You will abandon, of course, something which, which you used to do till now, okay? And you will go for something else. You will perhaps abandon that old way of making money, the old way of how you earned with your with your profession, with your skill, how you earn your money. Um, maybe you've been, um, maybe you changed your job. 
employment, just different employment. Maybe you are starting your own business, you're not going to work anymore for other people, you will open your own business. But you are abandoning that all the way of doing things. You might actually completely reconstruct something within your house to change complete layout inside, okay? To redecorate it or so, might also be something like that. Um, you can, what you're going to change, what else you can change, because Eight of Cups is changing something, deciding that, no, this doesn't work for me, will never really bring that big profits, okay, now if I do it in a different way, which I know how already from Monday, okay, which I established here on Thursday, now that new way will then bring me much bigger profits or it will be much easier for me. I'm not going to sweat so much. This is now new technology and if I just learn how to operate with these machineries or so and so, I will work much less. I'm not going to strain myself anymore. You see what I'm saying? You are abandoning that all the way because a new way is already established. You were abandoning some, maybe friendship, group of people, because Three of Pentacles also talks about the new people around you. New business clientele, being that you are now doing business in a different way. Maybe you're not going to do business with that type of people. Now it's going to be different clientele, okay? Maybe that sort of things as well. But you are changing and a new way is established already. With Eight of Cups, we often don't know where we are heading, what is next, what we, going, what we are going to do next. But you know. Okay, it's very Capricornian or uh, in fact to know exactly to the last detail what you're going to do, where you are heading, what is going to replace that old one. So I think you are just very comfortable self today because you know exactly how you're going to do this job, what is going to bring you money. So you are easily, easily replacing the old one, turning back to that old one because you know exactly what else, what is in fact replacing it. So that's your Thursday. Now, Friday with Hermit. Now, Hermit says that you do have some some difficult circumstances right now around you, some difficult problem to deal with, some questions to answer, and perhaps to yourself, and, and it is something which you're supposed to do on your own. Let me pair it, in fact. With the Nine of Swords, now that today something difficult comes up. Perhaps you just learn these few steps. <laughs> these are just baby steps, okay, which you are taking now. And by Friday, perhaps you are facing complexity, okay, uh, of, of that situation, complexity of this job, of this project which you are having right now. It's new, it's prosperous. You are so looking forward to do that, okay, to continue doing it, but on Friday you are facing perhaps that first difficult task, okay, everything was kind of easy, going slowly, getting into routine, getting used to it, learning how to do that, all right, and now perhaps on Friday you've got some you know, huge mountain of work in front of you or a difficult difficult problem in front of you or lots of things, okay, suddenly, which you have to know how to, what to do with or so. Many problems to deal with on this day and perhaps it hits you for the first time in such scope and that's why we have this uh, uh, desperate energy. <gasps> Will I ever manage? I'm never going to learn this. I'm never going to manage it so much. You know, I don't know. I know nothing about this. You see, I'm feeling kind of desperate. But you will, let me tell you, the hermit energy is wisdom. You will learn. You'll go through these difficulties step by step, one thing after another, one thing after another. You know that you cannot say, I won't do it. That what is major component of this energy that how you will persevere because there's no way for you not to. You have to know it. 
you already bit in it. You have to chew it. You have to continue. And you will summon your energy and you will bring it to an end. You will learn. You will do. You will whatever that you need to. You will. You see what I'm saying? The hermit's energy always does it. Though you might be frightened. You know, when you saw at first what is today in front of you, what you supposed to do today, you were shocked, scared, horrified, but you will do it, okay? Hermit does it. So that's your Friday. Now, Saturday. With two cups again. No, maybe again we have this person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay? This one from a Wednesday. Maybe you guys here on Saturday together again. Maybe on a date. The relationship begins and you will continue. Now that is weekend and you don't have to concentrate on your work anymore. You can have some time together with your partner. Very lovely, a eh? Two of Cups. But could be that is just you again very happy self look news you will announce you will say it you've got your clarity you've got understanding and you will bring it up um, this page always says it always public okay you will if it's about relationship you will tell to this person that you really want a relationship with them you will say it, it will be known, it's known to you and you will tell to person and relationship will finally, officially <laughs> begin to form, okay? Um, it could be that you were maybe discussing to sign contract to officially make this business partnership with another one. But it is official here. Um, now it's said, it's known, it's clear to all, it's known to all that you people are together. Together in the love relationship, a business partnership, friendship, whatever that's for two of you. Now, I told you already that it could be you, okay, just extension of this energy, this confidence, this rely on yourself. You did have conflicting energy here, chaotic energy here. You didn't know how to do it. Somebody taught you how to, explained to you, and you harmonized yourself. You balanced yourself. Okay, I can continue. You continued, okay, and you did have your first results. Now, again, we've got this very same energy is repeating itself. You've got these difficulties, same as you did have here, conflicting energy, showing inexperience. You were perhaps showing inexperience here, and now it's big scope of work, big amount of work, difficult work, which you never done before, and you were desperate. You've done it, you put lots of effort and you've done it because you didn't have option not to do, you know what I'm saying? And there you are again balanced self, relying on yourself. Now, you know that you can rely on yourself. You see what I'm saying? Now, that's clear to you. Could be taken in that, in, in that way, that you were, again, comfortable with yourself. You know that you can rely on yourself with this small inexperience and with these bigger things, bigger problems. You see what I'm saying? You are kind of learning. First, baby steps. You get more and more confident. You get more and more steady by doing things, okay? Biting into it and chewing it. That's it. You have to eventually swallow it, not to talk yourself. And yeah, you were doing it and there you are a happy self. Known to you now that you can deal with all of it. There is nothing that can surprise you, that can scare you now, okay? Now you can do it. You are ready. I think Page of Swords might represent your clarity, your knowledge, your understanding. Your understanding that you can learn. Page is also learning and very quickly, whatever comes your way, now oh, you can learn easily. Now that you have this first small step and another bigger step, this is a big one, okay? This is big task, big job, difficult work, you see what I'm saying? But once you went through it, you understand you can easily learn now. So could also be your confidence that you can from now on learn and face whatever task in front of you or so. But anyhow, very lovely Saturday for you, whichever way that you are looking at, okay? You are satisfied, you're happy out there, okay? Balance, harmonious energy, just for you or you and another. 
doesn't matter, you are loving it. It's very lovely. So that's your Saturday. Now, Sunday, with Knight of Swords. Look, Knight of Swords uh, is fast-moving energy, too fast. Now, on this day, perhaps, being that is out, the energy might come to change your plans for today. Maybe you did have plans to to just waste your day, to watch the movies, to be at home, to do nothing. Okay, maybe that was your plan. And night comes, okay, this energy comes, send you email in the morning, send you message or something. You have to attend this urgently. You have to go there urgently. Changes your plan completely. Maybe you wanted to do something and this one is calling to cancel it. You see what I'm saying? This this is, you know, change in one go, in one second. Whatever that you planned, whatever that you thought it will happen, it's not going to happen. It's going to be different because this one will urge you to do something else. Six of Cups. Um, it's not reversed. It's just my deck that was upside down. So, Six of Cups talks about your sibling, maybe your children, um, maybe some friends, people you know from a long time ago, people you have fond memories with, people you went on vacation with. You see what I'm saying? Six of Cups is pleasant, sweet energy and often includes other people, maybe children, your children. Maybe your children are changing your plans, okay? Maybe you did have plans to spend the day with your children. Now, on this day, something will spoil it or suddenly you will have to attend something which your children planned maybe something related to your children but still this is change of plans <laughs> but sweet energy nothing wrong I don't see that you're going to be complaining maybe in fact you're gonna love it this is just sweet energy maybe look um, could it very well be because this night comes suddenly, as I said, changes your plan. Could be that some of your friends, somebody you haven't seen for a very long time, okay, just suddenly calls you this morning, just did what I told you, telephone rings, and there is this person. You haven't seen this person for ages. You lost contact with this person. Now, person is calling and tells you, look, I'm around. I'm in the neighborhood. Can we see each other? Of course, you're going to cancel everything, and you will go to see this person you haven't seen for a very long time and person is very dear to you you see what I'm saying could be that that kind of change of plan in fact you love so much because it is about person you like or you love or person that means a lot to you so yeah nothing wrong with this Sunday could be in fact very enjoyable suddenly <laughs> Anyway, Capricorn, I really hope that you're going to enjoy this week and I will speak to you again very soon. Till then, best regards. Tarot by M.